coordinate geometry. Inclination of line, the slope of line, the slope of straight line passing through two points, equation of line, general equation of line. In this chapter, we are going to learn about how to find the equation of a given line using coordinate system. Now, we are going to study about inclination of line. Consider xy plane and L be the line on xy plane. And let theta be the angle made by line L with two direction of x axis. The inclination of line L, that is theta, lies between 0 degree to 180 degree, that is 0 less than equals to theta less than equals to 180 degree, is called as inclination of line. Slope of line. Let's see the slope of line. Definition. The slope of inclined plane is defined as the ratio of vertical height and horizontal distance. Now, see the right angle triangle ABC where angle CAB equals to theta is the angle which plane makes with the horizontal AB. Hence, tan theta equals to BC upon AB equals to vertical height upon horizontal distance. That means, slope equals to tan theta. Let us see one example on xy plane. Inclination of line AB is 45 degree and PQ is also 45 degree. Hence, line PQ parallel to line AB, which means that slope of line PQ equals to slope of line AB. Hence, slope of line AB, that is, 1045 degree equals to 1. Slope of line PQ is also 1. Let, let us see the slope of a straight line passing through two points. Let P x1 y1 and Q x2 y2 be any two points on the line and theta be the inclination of line L. Therefore, Angle QAS equals to theta. Draw segment PR perpendicular to x axis. Segment QS perpendicular to x axis. Draw segment PT perpendicular to segment QS. Therefore, segment PT parallel to segment RS. Consider PQ as transversal angle QAS equals to theta. Angle QPT equals to angle QAS corresponding angles. Angle QPT equals to theta. PR equals to Y1. QS equals to Y2. Therefore, QT equals to Y2 minus Y1. OR equals to X1. OS equals to X2. Therefore, RS equals to X2 minus X1. Since RS equals to PT, therefore, PT equals to X2 minus X1. In right angle triangle PTQ, angle QPT equals to theta. Therefore, tan theta equals to opposite side of angle theta divided by adjacent side of angle theta equals to QT by PT equals to Y2 minus Y1 by X2 minus X1. But slope of line PQ equals to tan theta. Slope of line PQ equals to Y2 minus Y1 by X2 minus X1 means Y1 minus Y2 by X1 minus X2. If X1 equals to X2, the slope is not defined 
so that the line will be y axis or parallel to y axis find the slope of line passing through the following points point a minus 2 1 and point b 0 3 here a minus 2 1 and b 0 3 slope of line equals to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 equals to 3 minus 1 by 0 minus minus 1 equals to 2 by 1 slope of line equals to 2 slope of line passing through line ab is 2 slope of line pq equals to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 mean y1 minus y2 by x1 minus x2 if x1 equals to x2 the slope is not defined so that the line will be y axis or parallel to y axis find the slope of line passing through the following points point a minus 2 1 and point b 0 3 here a minus 2 1 and b 0 3 slope of line equals to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 equals to 3 minus 1 by 0 minus minus 1 equals to 2 by 1 slope of line equals to 2 slope of line passing through line ab is 2 now we are in right angle triangle ptq angle qpt equals to theta therefore tan theta equals to opposite side of angle theta divided by adjacent side of angle theta equals to qt by pt equals to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 but slope of line pq equals to tan theta slope of line pq equals to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 mean y1 minus y2 by x1 minus x2 if x1 equals to x2 the slope is not defined so that the line will be y axis or parallel to y axis find the slope of line passing through the following points point a minus 2 1 and point b 0 3 here a minus 2 1 and b 0 3 slope of line equals to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 equals to 3 minus 1 by 0 minus minus 1 equals to 2 by 1 slope of line equals to 2 slope of line passing through line ab is 2 
Now we are going to see the last topic that is equation of the line. Solution of linear equation means the value of the variable which satisfy the equation. In geometry, linear equation in two variables are used for representing lines. Other equations are used for representation of curves also. The point which satisfies the equation lies on that line only. An equation of a line essentially defines the condition which must be satisfied by every point on the line. We have already learned the graphical representation of linear equation and the graphs of lines represented by the equation x equals to a and y equals to b. Consider the line AB. Line AB parallel to Y axis such that the distance from Y axis is A. The X coordinate of every point on the line AB is A, which is fixed number. And we write this as X equals to A, which is the equation of line AB. Now we see the equation of line y equals to b. Consider the line CD. Line CD is parallel to the x-axis such that its distance from x-axis is b. The y-coordinate of every point on the line CD is b. And the equation of line CD is y equals to b. Note. Either line is parallel to any of the axes or not parallel to any of the axes, then the line is inclined and also has an equation. Equation of line is classified in four standard forms. First, equation of line in slope intercept form. Second, equation of line in slope point forms. Third, equation of line in two point form. Fourth, equation of line in double intercept form. We are going to study the standard forms of equation of line one by one. First is equation of line in slope intercept forms. To find the equation of a line having slope m and y intercept c, let the line L intersect Y axis in a point A with coordinate 0, C. Slope of line L is M. Let P, X, Y be any point on the line L. Summary In this subtopic, we have learned about inclination of line, slope of line, the slope of straight line passing through two points, equation of line and general equation of line. That is all in this lesson. Learning is fun, so keep learning.